It's been a passion of mine my entire life. I was four years old when I first played, and I just kind of picked it up as a natural would. You know, my father got me into it, and I just fell in love instantly. Like, oh, man, why baseball? Like, I mean, is that a question? It's, it teaches you to think. It teaches you how to fail. You know, kids today have actually a huge problem with failure. They throw fits, they give up. You know, it's basically like the grind. It pushes you through. What do you want to do? To what's gonna make you better than the next player? Oh. <laughs> I'm like Joe Girardi. I got a stacked squad walking yeah, in. Yeah, no, you definitely gave it. Yeah, you gotta be all the man. Put the pan on top of it. I plan on playing forever, as long as I possibly can. You know, I'll get into the senior leagues, you know, have my cane and walkers down first base, clock me with a sundial, it all works. <laughs> it's just something that, you know, I've been a very family-oriented guy, and having my family playing with me, who better? Yeah. I mean, it's it's a brotherhood, and, you know, when they're actually brothers, it's a whole different uh, ball game because we always strive to push each other. I'm going to be better than him. He's going to be better than me. I don't think so. We've seen each other fail, and we've also seen each other succeed in baseball. And basically, we've always had that type of close bond that helps you, you know, step up in a key situation because you have your brothers looking behind you, you know, basically giving you the support that you want and desire from other players. I will be on my deathbed, and I will have a ball in my hand. But, you know, I basically know mentally what it takes to make it to the next level and I want to pass that on to younger kids so that's what my plan is with baseball as the coach. Without them I wouldn't be who I am today. You know, we, you know, as tight-knit as it gets. Uh, who's Ryan? Ryan, my brother, who passed away. Uh, I was three when he passed. Um, he's my guardian angel. It's motivation, like I, you know, like I said before, it's kind of something that, you know, I wish I got to meet him. I never did. But I feel like, you know, he lives through me and my brothers. Uh, I think about it and just like, I know I have an angel watching over me. You know, that's my brother. And one day we'll be reunited. But, you know, it's just something that I uh, always keep in the back burner. I mean, he was only around for, you know, on earth three months. But I mean, you know, he's somebody that looks over me. There's so many things that I could have thought of that when I felt like I was back in the corner, I didn't have anybody, and my two brothers that, you know, Mike and Corey weren't around, he was there. Yeah. He was always there. I would thank him for allowing me to still be here, you know, for my other two brothers that are still alive and the rest of the family and having this life, because I truly believe he had something to do with why I'm still here. That's a fact. Who's the best Murphy? Uh, it depends on what, you know? Who's the best Murphy? Right now, as a coach, me, because I'm the coach, <laughs> you know? Gotta say, man, you gotta, you know, leave the strength, right? You know, uh, senior wisdom ability. <laughs> but, uh, no, nah, I'd say we're, we're equal in our own different ways, you know? I mean, I'm not gonna try and toot my own horn, <laughs> but I was the MVP the last two years of my recreation team with my brothers, and uh, we won the championship two years in a row.